Dear students, in this video, I would like to explain the working of electric generator. An electric generator is a device which is used to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. It works according to the principle of electromagnetic induction. It was discovered by Michael Faraday. According to electromagnetic induction, Whenever there is a change in magnetic field associated with a conductor, it will induce a current in it. You can see here, I have a coil, a coil of insulated copper wire. The two ends of the wire is connected to two LEDs. These two LEDs are connected with opposite poles. Polarities are reversed. And I have a magnet, this one is a strong magnet. If I move this magnet inside the coil, suppose I am moving the south pole of the magnet, you can see the one LED at the right side is glowing. Because when I move the magnet inside the coil, it induces a current and by using that current, this LED is glowing. If I reverse the direction of magnetic field, when I use the north pole, you can see the next LED, that is the left side one is glowing. So when I move the magnet fast, it is inducing a current in the coil and by using that current the LED is glowing. If I move this magnet slowly, it won't induce a current. So if you induce, if you move the magnet very fast, then only it induces a current in the coil. So whenever there is a change in magnetic field, Associated with a conductor, it will induce a current in it. That is the basic principle of electromagnetic induction. It can be again demonstrated by another experiment. Here, this is an electric bucket. It consists of two coils. This is the primary coil and this is the secondary coil. The secondary coil is fitted with a, some LEDs. Okay, only it is a copper coil. It is insulated all around and it is the two ends of the wires are connected to an LED panel and the primary coil it, this primary coil I am going to connect directly to the electric uh, supply so when I connect this primary to the electric supply and it is kept in a core in a soft air core like this. Now the primary is, this is soft air core, primary is kept uh, on a stand which is fitted with a soft air core. Now when I move this secondary coil near to the primary, since an alternating current is flowing through the primary, it is producing a flux change and due to the flux change it is inducing current in the secondary and the LED is glowing. When I move this away, when the magnetic field strength decreases, the light intensity also reducing because induced current reduces, now it is not glowing at all because no induced current is produced. When I move it slowly downward, you can see the brightness of the LED increasing and become maximum when it is very close to the primary coil. So whenever a current flows through the primary here, it is producing a changing magnetic field and because of that changing magnetic field, it induces a current in the secondary coil. So, the induced current in secondary coil can be produced by using, uh, by moving a magnet inside the coil or uh, by changing the current through the primary like in AC supply. So, this is the basic principle of a generator. So a generator consists of, here we have two generators, this is AC generator, this one is DC generator. The basic difference between AC generator and DC generator is only at this point. Here for AC generator, there is a full ring, it is for slip rings, R1 and R2. In the case of DC generator, it is a split ring. And the other features are almost same, the generator consists of uh, an armature coil, it is a soft end core and on that uh, insulated copper wire is moved. 
This is the armature of the generator. It is actually a soft end core on that uh, insulated copper wire is wound. And the two ends of the copper wire is connected to two slip rings if it is an AC generator. And the armature coil is kept between two poles of a magnet, south and north of a magnet. When the coil rotates in between the south pole and north pole of the magnet, it will induce a current in the coil and that current can be taken out through the brushes B1 and B2. The brush B1 and B2 are always in contact with the rings R1 and R2. In case of DC generator, the armature, the two ends of the armature wire is connected to two split rings R1 and R2 and the two split rings are always in contact with the two brushes B1 and B2. 